what I do when I get these packs if you're storing them in totes you can keep them in packs like this and they probably take up less room you know what I mean but if you're storing them in that little idea I had there or just in your pantry in general or let's say you got a um, wire rack or something put up like I do back here you know I, I try to keep everything relatively labeled and you know easy to find right <clears throat> secondary pressure cooker okay when I get packs like this in here, I cut them open and start sorting, right? Start looking for major dents. The major dents, I mean, are see these dents on the sidewalls, right? They're not exactly going to ruin the can immediately, but it's not good, right? Not good for you. In terms of long term storage, I don't think it's a good idea to store anything super long term, like meats like this, but. Some people do, and they have, and they said it's fine. All right, cool. Everybody does their own thing. Each their own. All right, so what I do is I check it, find dents, see ceiling area right around the top, check the side walls, check this bottom piece as well. All right, the parts that, that affect it the most are the corner. The corners right here, the outside edge. When those seals are... Or the can is compromised there on the corners it's the easiest for it to get air inside of it into even if it doesn't leak but just to get air through there because not not every can uh well most can products you do have like water or something in them, but they don't always leak in a significant amount right just over time it it just kind of gives in that area so and then the other area is the very top here when the can is being pressed in and sealed so you always want to check there, right? So no major dents up here. A couple down here on the bottom near the corners, right? Right on the edge. Not cool. So that means that these guys are going to get stacked a certain way, and these guys are going to be eaten first. The other guys that are clean, like these here, have stacked in a separate area. No major dents. Doesn't matter about whatever. Uh, course they'll be a little dirtier or whatnot but no major dents free of of any major deformities no sidewall dents nothing i'll put the month and the year and then stack them to the side and then those will get put into whatever container they're going to be stored away in but i prefer the totes just to be honest but um i'm going to go through all of these date them all and then put them all up so that way it's one less uh one less thing to worry about so you guys should probably do the same because this can of tuna fish here that is five ounces wet four ounces of just just product just the fish or so it claims i've weighed some of these and it's been less than that but whatever um this doesn't necessarily have to just be for tuna fish it can be anything just make sure that you guys inspect all these seals really well i had some that had no dents but when i pushed on it you could just hear a hiss one of the corners on the seals here and it was on some chicken i pushed on it and it hissed so i didn't even open it i just tossed it because if you're pushing on it and it's sucking in air or or bubbling just man something happened to it right during during shipping or processing or whatever and you know time to get rid of it so uh and then of course everything try not to cover your best buy dates i understand it's best if used by because of the the flavor and everything else or whatever it's supposed to be the texture and flavor of the product you're buying but uh, these are obviously everybody knows that these will be these will be good to eat as long as they're stored properly well beyond that date so i'm rambling on here but i'm just saying <clears throat> this can of tuna fish right here used to be less than a dollar a piece and these guys are sitting at you know two bucks now in most places so you know good idea to to buy it now so that you save yourself money down the road so anyways this is Trill B man I'm out of here <laughs>